Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Factoring special quadratics, difference of squares. So special quadratics, difference of squares. What we have here is we've gone to um, the special products rule, or what we call special quadratics. We have the following type of um, multiplying binomials. And what we have here is the first term in each set of binomials is the same, and the second term is also exactly the same. But the only difference is the fact that one is positive and one is negative. And whenever we have something like that, whenever we expand it, we get as follows. So we use the FOIL rule, first, outer, inner, last, and we get the following expression. But now one thing to notice is with this middle expression here, negative 3x plus 3x will give me 0. They're going to subtract out. Okay? And what we're left with is x squared minus 9. Okay? Now, what we're going to be looking at is, well, we've already done these. So you should know how to expand. And these are pretty simple using the FOIL rule. Okay? But now what are we going to do is here, we're going to try to go from here now back to that. Okay? So we're going to try to figure out what was our original expression once we factor out such a uh, special quadratic. Okay. So here's uh, another ex yeah, example. 2w minus 5 uh, times 2w plus 5. So notice again, just as we said, first terms are exactly the same. Second terms are different only by the sign. One's positive, one's negative. And when we expand that, this middle term here, Okay, we'll cancel out where we'll subtract out to zero. And all we're left with is 4w squared minus 25. And what we said was that we were going to square this because, well, that the only part really that mattered in terms of our FOIL method was the first and the last, which means that all we need to worry about whenever we have such uh, special quadratics was that we were going to multiply the firsts and we were going to multiply the lasts. And notice if we do that, 2w times 2w, 4w squared. Negative 5 times positive 5 will give me negative 25. And we, because we said if 1 was negative, if 1 was subtractive, 1 was uh, addition, that we were going to have this middle term that was going to cancel out. Okay, it was going to give us our zero value. And so all we had to do now was square the first, uh, or multiply the first, multiply the last to get our answer. Which means if we are multiplying by the same value, our first and last, if we want to factor such an expression, all we do is we find the square roots of the two outer terms. So if we find the square root of 4w squared, we get 2w. If we find the square root of 25, we get 5. And what this means is that, well, both sets are, of brackets are going to be 2w and a 5, but what's the sign in between them? Well, because it's a difference of squares, one is going to be positive, the other one is going to be negative. Okay, so what do you notice? Well, we notice that we can pretty much factor out, okay, the, we can find really the square roots, okay, whenever we have a difference of squares. And whenever we have a difference of squares, we have two terms. First step, see if you can find a common factor. After that, if you cannot find a common factor, see if you can square root the two outer terms. Okay. So let's uh, try to factor the following. So now we've got these type of questions. We're going to go backwards. We're going to try to figure out what were 
the sets of binomials from this. So again, because we can square root this, square root that, and because this sign is a negative, and that's another thing in terms of difference of squares, we always have a negative. So if we find the square root of x, okay, we get two sets of x's, right? and then square root of 25 is 5. One of them we put negative, the other one we put positive. It doesn't matter the order. Okay, let's look at another example. 16 a squared minus 81. Square root 16a squared, we can square root 81. Okay, and we get 4a and 4a. Square root 81 gives us 9 and 9. We add negative, we add 1 to be positive. Okay, and our last one here, 5r squared minus 20. If we look at it, we go, none of them can be square rooted. We cannot square root these two. So we're thinking, oh, right away, oh, we can't factor it. No. Remember what we said the rule was. Whenever we find any type of question that asks us to find a uh, to factor, the first thing you always want to do is find a common factor. And what we can do is we can factor out... 5 from this expression, and we get r squared minus 4. Now, what we do is we can, we can actually find a difference of square. We can actually square root the outer, uh, those two terms. So the square root of r squared is r. Okay. Square root of 4 is 2. Okay. We've used minus first, plus first. We're going to put plus first, then minus. It doesn't really matter. But now, this r plus 2 in brackets times r minus 2 will only give me this. The one thing I have to remember is, well, I already factored out a 5. So my expression, when I factored out, was to first define the common factor and then see if I could still have my difference of squares.